you're conscious, touching your throat, you're coughing. You knew that, you witnessed them. But, but if you if you witness them when the breath doesn't go in, you witness them, you know, choking and then you do this procedure when you try to give a breath that doesn't go in, and you reposition. Okay, make sure you remember that. You need to remember that. When the breath doesn't go in, and you witness them choking, what do you do if the first breath doesn't go in? Reposition. Very important. Now, what if you don't know that they're choking on food, but the breath doesn't go in? So the breath doesn't go in without telling you that they have a... Obstructed airway. So they have an obstructed airway. The breaths are not going in. You know there's a blockage. Now, because you never saw them choking on food, and you never got to ask them, hey, are you choking? Are you coughing? No. Because of that, when the first breath doesn't go in, you don't reposition and try it again. Instead, the first time a breath doesn't go in, you ask them, do I know what happened? You don't know what happened. You didn't witness it. So you put the oral airway in. Why? Because the oral airway will eliminate if for some reason their tongue doesn't lifting off the back of the throat. For whatever reason. Sometimes it's a small percentage of the population, their tongue doesn't lift off. You inspect the mouth first. You look inside, you, you always measure the oral area, you look in the mouth, nothing in there. You put the oral area in there. And that's right after the first breath. So sometimes, yeah, right, yeah, after, right, after, right, after, right after. after. Instead of repositioning, yeah. you put the airway in. That's only if you did not see what happened. Right. You can't be like, oh, breaths aren't going in, they're choking on food. No, you have to eliminate the possibility that they might have, have a swollen tongue or a sticky tongue. What am I talking about? A small percentage of the population, their tongue does not lift off with a head tilt or a jaw thrust. You know this part here? We learned about yesterday for spinal patients to lift the tongue up? Or the head tilt lifts the tongue up? Remember that? Okay, that, that doesn't happen for everybody. So, so instead of going, oh, they're choking on food, maybe they just went comatose, unresponsive for whatever other reason. And when you put the airway in, all of a sudden they start breathing. A breath go in and all of a sudden they start breathing. They're like, oh, wow, okay, good. This person doesn't have obstruction at all. They need to just be airway managed properly. But if you witness them choking on food, then of course, you get your breath. Make it sense so far? Yeah. So, what do you want to know? What happened? We found someone unresponsive in a chair. We took them out of the chair, laid them on the ground. We used lots of help. So, found this person in. What happened? Oh, this person wasn't feeling very well. We don't know what happened. They passed out. We didn't, did you see them pass uh, out? No. Good, good. The baller hit their head. We don't know what happened at all. We just came in here and they were passed out in the chair. Call my one and get back to me. One, two, three, four, five. No breathing. When I say no breathing, you say check the vital pulse. One, two, three, four, five. No breathing. Check, check the, the vital, vital pulse. pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They have a pulse. Try a breath. First breath doesn't go in. It's unwitnessed. Do I reposition or put the airway in? Try the oral airway. That's good. Let's go in. Check the, oh, they have a pulse and they're breathing. Great. Nothing wrong with this person at all. They just had some swelling in the tongue. Oh, well, that's not good either. Breathing rate. 24. Pulse presence. Skin coat for cleaning. Not the body center. With me then? Mm. Try it again. Wait, what happened? Remember, this wasn't witnessed. We found them in a chair. So why aren't they seized by Because we found them in a, in a chair. chair. Yeah, right. Wake up. And we get, you know, we cannot call them. No breathing. Check the carotid. They have a pulse. When they have a pulse, say try a breath. Well, no breathing. They have a pulse. Check the pulse. They have a pulse. Try, to try a breath. breath. First breath doesn't go in. Try and roll early. Yeah. That breath does go in. How many have to go in? 
Two. Two bats go in. So you two bats go in, two fingers are false. They have a false, their breathing airway is clear. Is it already managed? Yes, yeah, good. Oxygen. Hey, he's good. What's after me? Check the breathing. Breathing. False. With me? Okay, shall we? 